Hello y'all. Welcome to part 11 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 10, we took back some territory that had been captured by the Third International, and hopefully in part 11 we take back more territory in Spain that is currently under enemy control. So let's unpause here. We had a huge rifle well infantry equipment deficit but that's being cleared up now due to tons of lend lease flowing in and a lot higher production rates for our factories we are, we are dedicating the majority of our industry to the production to the production of rifles and that is helping out tremendously and now we once had a deficit of say of what about perhaps 400,000 now we're down to just maybe 12,000. Another reason for that is besides the lend lease is that a lot of the divisions we had early on got obliterated and now we just have a smaller army that needs less rifles as a whole so that's helping out as well. But our army is going to try to expand in the near future. Here's some lend lease from Poland. Thank you Poland for the rifles. We needed those. We're still pushing back the enemy here. Take care of this British group of troops at this port. Valencia. Come on. And Valencia. They're near Valencia anyway. Push them out here and drive back, drive back those British troops in this port and then take the this army here and go back on the attack. Just take all, take all the divisions in this force and this, what is it, the first army. They'll destroy these British divisions trapped in this area here and they'll go back on the attack with the rest of our military. And we need some more steel from Flanders Wallonia who is our main trading partner. They have been trading with us for some time. And we're going to take back all of Valencia now, almost. And we took that port, so the enemy troops are gone. Let's start transferring some of these troops back over to these divisions, to these other armies. The first army is going to be disbanded for now. We're going to have to make, make a new one in the future. And so we have a victory there. Get some rifles from Deutsch Middle Africa, German Middle Africa, the colonial authority there. And do we have any more garrison divisions being made? Good. We need garrison divisions to just kind of defend our ports as we advance more back into Liberia. We're going to defeat these tanks here. The Italian Federation declared war on the Socialist Republic of Italy, and they called in Albania to help them. Are they part of any factions? They have the Mediterranean Axis, which is them, Bulgaria, Romania, and Albania. And hopefully there's some federal government established. So now the Third International, our enemy is going to be fighting against both the Reich's Pact. Well, the, they're fighting against the Reich's Pact, us, the Entente, and now the Mediterranean Axis, which is consistent of the Italian Federation, Albania, Bulgaria, and Romania. Here are some rifles from from Sweden. Thank you, Sweden. Sweden is a member of the Reichspack. I think earlier they invaded Norway. Yeah, they did. I thought, well, part of Norway is being occupied by the German Empire. Here are some rifles from Romania. Thank you, Romania, for the lend lease. We do appreciate it. And let's take this garrison division here, give it to Army 4, which does nothing but garrison stuff, really. And let's also extend the areas they are supposed to garrison, do some area defense in Carthagena, Carthagena, Valencia, Cordoba, everywhere we can take really. And that's done. How's the trade going for unfulfilled import requests? We need we need that steel. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. We have more steel now. There's some wind lease from the Bulgarians. Thank you. Are we behind still on weapon production? We're almost ahead. The Russian the Russian state annexed they annexed what is it? They annexed Azerbaijan. There's a naval invasion there. Great, that's not good. Let's put an end to that. Let's send some troops here. Why do they gotta land these troops in these areas? It's so annoying. Take these units here. These are infantry divisions. This is Army 5. Have them just sort of defeat these troops here that are trying to land, try to stop them from escaping. And we had an enemy force land in Gibraltar. We did not have a garrison division down there. And that is a little bit of a problem. So let's send some divisions down there to try and at least contain that force. And I think the, what is it, the British lost a ton of divisions, and they also lost their initial naval landing in Gibraltar. There was a front there, but we destroyed it. So they shouldn't have that many divisions to even use in naval invasions anymore. Once you get rid of these troops in this place here, we'll push more into, can you just drive them out, get them out of Gibraltar, take Malaga. Engineer Company has been, re has been researched, okay, good. You're trying to reinforce their position, that's not good at all. Can we please just retake the places we lost? Why do they gotta naval invade everything? It's very annoying. Send the this division here. Send these units here to the first army. Yes, you just need to focus on containing that front. Do it. Push them out. Just drive them out of Spain again. 
for like the millionth time. There are some more garrison troops. Head, hand, hand them over to the 4th Army. Or whatever it is. Yeah, the 4th Army. And now let's research maybe motorized. We do not have motorized. We didn't start with it. So now let's get that. More garrison divisions. Hand them off to the 4th Army. The Commune of France decrypted our ciphers. Uh, well, try to push the British here. Who, as I've said before, they've lost a lot of troops in this conflict, I think. Let me go to their casualty and see how severe that's been. This conflict has been for the British. They have lost, let me see here, the Italian-German War, whatever. The, where are they at? No, that's not right. Where is it? I don't know where it's at. That's confusing. The second Veltkrieg, are we part of that? I don't know what we're part of. And are we part of this in some way? No. But I'm just, the... Union of Britain doesn't have that many divisions as they used to. Let's contain these troops here in Cadoba and take Gibraltar, kick them out of there. At least our troops are at full fighting strength now. We need a little bit more guns, hopefully. Some convoys are being sunk. Very annoying. We have some more divisions, though. Push these divisions out of here. Drive them out. Just get them out of Gibraltar. Get these units out of here in Cordoba, well, near Cordoba. And hopefully those garrison troops will be ready to go very soon. How many more... Okay, we're having to make more guns, a lot more guns. And we can't do anything in our focus tree right now. We've got to be at peace in order to do anything. And obviously, since we're in a war, we can't do nothing. We could have been doing a continuous focus, so what am I doing? Let's do not suppress subjects. What am I clicking on? Construction engineering. Yeah, do that. Construction engineering. Get that done so we can build some stuff faster and continue our advance into Spain. Why do they have to do this naval invasion? We're just going to kick them back into the Mediterranean. That division there was encircled. Let's encircle these next two divisions. Destroy them for the esoteric realm of the true France. There's some non-aggression pact offers or something. And there's like one British, well, one Union of Britain, the Hampshire Home Guard. They are like a militia troop there. They're going to be just destroyed in an encirclement. Can we take Gibraltar, please? What is the problem? Kick them out. All you got to do. Use force attack, and there goes their tro those troops in Gibraltar. They're gone now, and they have been destroyed. And once we get rid of this last group of troops here from that naval invasion force, we'll probably transfer some soldiers over to these other divisions. And we're almost done here. This militia, the, home, the Hampshire Home Guard, will be done for. It was probably not a good idea to use militia for a naval invasion, but the British did that anyway. And let's get rid of these troops. They're gone, so let's transfer these units over to other divisions, well, other armies. There we go. The, what is it, the, the third army is going to get some troops, and so is the second army. And they'll help out in the push there. Here's some, here's some more infantry divisions. Hand them off to the seventh army, which was originally a garrison division. And we have a naval invasion once again. So let's take these units we just transferred and make the first army once more. We need those garrison divisions in greater numbers. This is getting annoying. They keep sending troops in for naval invasions, and we just can't focus on them constantly. So move some troops down here, get down here, move this unit here, just remake the first army. We might as well leave the first army in reserve at this point because it's getting ridiculous. So seven divisions are going to go and try to s stop this naval invasion before it gets out of hand. And we had just taken this place back, too. So drive them off, please. That's all you guys got to do. Just get them out of here. Just leave the first army intact. This is annoying. They just keep trying to land naval invasions. We drive them off. They keep landing. We drive them off. And just it repeats constantly. And one of our garrison divisions did get encircled, I noticed. That's not good. Unfulfilled import request. Why can't you just send us the stuff? Please, get it here. Push out these divisions. Get them gone. Rescue this division here. We just finished some research, I think. Yeah, we have a research slot available. Let's research maybe construction four. Get that done. More infantry divisions. Give them to the first army. And they'll try to help out with the push in wherever. If they can just get somewhere, they can't even get to that area. Go to that line, please, guys. What are you doing? Go here. Get there. Just all these divisions are going to go to this army to the first army. More garrison divisions, good. They'll be sent off somewhere when they're ready to do so. Just now we have 18 divisions in that garrison force. We're pushing more into Spain. And let's get maybe unrestricted submarine warfare done in our trade interdiction naval doctrine. How is the, mil the weapons production going? Very well. Good. We're going to take more factories as we push the third international over out of Spain. We have cores on everything. So we should be able to use any factories we recapture. 
And the reason, well, we should have been being a third international all along. My problem is, though, I expanded too fast with our military. And so we, did, we just had divisions. We had so many divisions with two little guns. And so our army just collapsed under the stress initially. But then the Reich's Pact declared war on the third international. And that opened up a lot of lend lease opportunities for us. And that's helped out a lot, honestly. And here's some more divisions for the garrison. Good. Can we push these troops out now? Oh my goodness, I keep trying to send troops into Spain. Very annoying. More garrison divisions are being set up. Can we please get rid of these enemy troops here to keep trying to reinforce their line? Quite annoying. Just give up. Just get out of here. We're just pushing when we're able to do so. Just drive these divisions out of here. More unfulfilled import requests. We get tons of exports from these guys. And they just can't protect. We just can't defend the trade lanes with them. It's annoying. Can we just get these guys out of here, please? They lost one line. Try to take their ports from them. Get them surrounded in Carthaginia and Valencia. And we had just retaken these places. And now they send more divisions to come die in Spain. Because they're going to get surrounded and destroyed. Move these divisions up to the first army who needs them. Give some a couple divisions. Well, one division goes to the second army. And we're going to have control of Galicia very soon, as well as Lyon at the rate we're going. So keep pushing here. More garrison troops. Give them over to the 4th Army. And that's done. More garrison troops. And what's this here? This has been sunk. And this is... Oh, no. That's a big naval battle. That is... Yeah. A lot of stuff was sunk there, it looks like. Looks like 12 ships of the... Union of Britain Navy was in a big battle with the French National State and maybe Canada? I don't know, but a lot of ships were sunk there. More divisions here, give them to the First Army, and they'll be available. Keep landing, we'll keep sending out more garrison divisions. That's done, how are we doing with equipment? We need more equipment being manufactured? Probably. Can we just take this port here? This is an open area for us to take, there's no troops guarding that. And the Third International is at war with the Reich's Pact, and I really wish they'd be more aggressive, but they aren't. I'm just glad we get lend -Lease at least. So there's some more guns from Ukraine. That's going to help us out quite a bit. And let's keep pushing here. Take these ports. Every port we can get to, let's advance on it and take it for, take it for the esoteric realm of the true France. Push through here. Create a gap. Take this port in Valencia. Just flood in there. Take it. Cut them off in Valencia take that port and then just split their forces in half and I am just annoyed with that steel situation with Flanders Wallonia it's very irritating so keep pushing here drive these units off take these units here attack that group and Galicia Galicia whatever motorized has been researched good now let's maybe grab I don't know what is it it's 1940 not worth it to grab that right now so let's get fighter 2 get that done let's keep sending more divisions up here the first army that's going to be done nice and we're going to take Valencia now that's going to be back under our control and that's great so let's keep pushing there we're probably going to just use the first army as its own independent force to help push in some places like maybe Catalonia I don't know and there's some lend lease I think from Poland thank you Poland push these troops here get them out of Carthaginia Carthagena and just Get them out of here. Get the Third International removed from this area. Give another division. The, who is it? Give another division to the Second Army. They need more troops. And are we winning here? Good. Just keep pushing. No resources. Where is the trade? We trade for so much. We get so little. Like, my goodness. We give for so much steel. So little of it arrives. It is absurd. Can we just get these troops out of here? Good. Just get them out. And there's some more garrison divisions for us. They'll go somewhere, probably. Just defend the ports. That's all I gotta do. Defend the ports. Take the first army here and push into Catalonia with them. And it'll just reinforce that area. So push into Catalonia and try to take that area. That's gonna be done. More garrison troops have been created. They will be sent off to the third army because that's what they are. Well, the fourth army. That's what they get used for. And there's a naval invasion. Great, so they keep sending naval invasions. Very irritating. So drive off these troops here. Maybe the garrison units can actually be useful for once. And Well, they have been useful, but these are garrison divisions. Hopefully they can drive off the enemy units that keep landing here. Let's, in fact, create a... What is it? That's the wrong unit. Whatever. Let's create a 5th Army. 
take this general here, he'll go to Gibraltar and handle that. They can just make a landing. Anyway, so are we pushing into Catalonia now? Yes, we are. And I believe I will end part 11 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in Kaiser Redux here. Part 11 is going to end. And you can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.